Special thanks to Patreon supporter Delta One for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the M27 multiple launch rocket system or known as the MLRS. The M270 multiple rock launch rocket system M20. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Scare two before here bringing you another Minecraft forward to the AM. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Scare two before here bringing you. Fuck. <clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Scare two before here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In the store, we'll be going ahead and building the M270 multiple launch rocket system. The M270 multiple launch rocket system, or M. 270 MLRS is an armored self-propelled multiple rocket launcher. Since the first M270s were in delivered to the US Army in 1983, the MLRS has been adopted by several NATO countries. Some 1300 M270 systems have been manufactured in the United States and in Europe, along with more than 70,000 or sorry, 700,000 rockets. The production of the M270 ended in 2003 when a last batch was delivered to the Egyptian army. So yeah, the M270, a pretty, uh, I would say, kind of iconic uh, missile launching system that has been around for quite some time. Uh, saw service in the Persian Gulf War, Afghanistan, and the in in Iraq. So it's uh, definitely seen um, some uh, use and is used by a bunch of other countries. So a very kind of uh, you know well-rounded vehicle here. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, basically, fires you know unguided rockets um, in a kind of rocket barrage type. Uh, design and uh, yeah so that's pretty much the vehicle uh, pretty straightforward stuff uh, and uh, pretty cool vehicle to add if we don't have too many rocket launching systems especially for the United States so nice to kind of see one finally join our uh, ranks of modern warfare and Cold War ground vehicles uh, but with that um, I want to go ahead and give special thanks to Patreon supporter Delta One for making this tutorial possible if you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do Feel free to check out my patreon page link is always in my video descriptions where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month in doing so or if you have a request you're choosing uh, Really helps support the work I do on my channel and is obviously greatly appreciated So feel free to check it out again links are always in my video descriptions However, with that, let's go ahead and move into taking a look here at the vehicle. So with this tutorial, you will have both uh, versions you can see in front of you. So you can have the mobile version and also the firing position uh, version as well. So uh, kind of start with the mobile version. You have the cab up here, um, pretty much the same chassis here for both vehicles. I believe this is the M993 uh, carrier vehicle. So kind of like that's the base that we're the rocket system uses. Um, you can see here we have the front windows, uh, which have the bars across there, pretty standard for this vehicle. Um, front headlights, all that stuff. Uh, a little hatch up here, and all the side detail and all that stuff. And then we get back to the ro mobile rocket launching system itself, the M270 system. And as you can see here, the d individual rocket tubes, um, the uh, basically you know, kind of a little front brace structure that it has here, and um, that's pretty much it. So the mobile version, you can see, just kind of put in the down configuration, allowing it to be transported around. And the firing position here, it's the same uh, vehicle base, but we just have the rocket launcher kind of at a diagonal here for uh, basically firing um, the missiles. So yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, nothing too complex in terms of this vehicle, and uh, overall a pretty cool little design that will be able to add into some of your... Um, build some of your convoys or some of your uh, you know bases and stuff like that as a form of artillery. But with that, uh, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layers, layers 0 and 1. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer here, we have layer number 1. Now for this tutorial, we're going to be building the base uh, kind of structure here for the vehicle to start off with, and then we're going to go ahead and go back and add the two different uh, kind of configurations for the rocket launcher so it kind of be an easy baseline for us just to build the base vehicle and then you'll be able to skip ahead or go to wherever you need to to build basically build the mobile or the deployed version for this vehicle anyways let's go ahead and get started first thing we want to do is we're going to be going ahead and placing down a narrow brick slab like this followed by a narrow brick top slab coming off of like so we then want to go ahead and go behind this block we're going to place down a black shulker box on its side like so followed by a polished black stone stair and a second polished black stone stair after that we're going to go ahead and place down our dark oak wood trapdoor here. A black shulker box on its side like so. 
two polished black stone up sounds or two back to back stairs and we then want to go ahead and place down a narrow dark oak with trap door and same thing again here black shulker box two polished black stone stairs back to back narrow brick slab and a narrow brick top slab like so and once we get to this point here we're going to then place down a dark oak sign coming off the top slab and we then want to go ahead and grab some dark oak trap doors and place down one two three and four over and we're going to basically do the same thing for the tracks over here to this side so I'm going to go and do the same thing here. I'm going to go and do this a little bit quicker as I kind of explain the air side there in a little bit better detail. If you need to, you can go and pause the video um, or just refer to the air side, uh, slow the video down, whatever works for you guys here. But it's the same thing on both sides, so nothing too crazy for the tracks. And then after we get to this point here, then we have our tracks done on both sides. We're going to go and then take dark oak with top slabs and go into the front here. We're going to go to this narrow brick slab. We're going to place down a row of four across in between here. And we just want to go and fill in the space basically between that row four of dark oak top slabs all the way back to the dark oak trap doors. So we're just going to go and basically fill this in all the way to the back here. And we're stopped there at those trap doors like that. Then on the very back, come off these trap doors here. We're going to place down an item frame to both sides, trip our hook in the item frames, and rotate them around um, just like that. So they're hanging downwards like that. Once uh, that's all finished, uh, we then want to go ahead and uh, grab some materials because we'll be going ahead and using some banners here to make these road wheels look a little bit more appealing. So with that, I'm going to go and grab the materials we'll need for these um, road wheels and I'll see you guys here in a sec. Alright guys, so the banners for our road wheels here are super simple to make. All we're going to do is place down a loom, go into our loom, we're going to place down green banners and black dye. For our first set of banner, or for our first banner here, what we're going to do is we're going to go and do the black border that goes all the way around it like so. We then want to go and grab this banner put it back into our loom and then we're going to split it in half with the black on the bottom so just like that and that right there is actually sorry my bad it's going to be a line for the center so the horizontal line for the center like that to create this banner here anyways once we have that banner done we're going to take our green banners put them back into our loom when we get to this point we're going to split the banners in half with black so black and green so like this for our first banner and then our other banners going to be the opposite so it's going to be split in half vertically like so we then want to place uh, each one of these banners back into our loom, and we're going to grab the line that goes through the center of black dye, and we're just going to place down a line that goes through the center for each one of these banners. And we create those two um, banners like so. At this point here, we're going to take this green banner. This is going to go on each one of the black shulker boxes, and then these two banners here are going to go on to the, um, the stairs here. And we want to make sure we're facing them so that the green is facing toward each other like so. And same thing over here just like this, going all the way down the side here on the sides of the stairs. And with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number one for the build. And with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to get started with here, we're going to place down an airbrick stair on top of those two top slabs here. And we then want to place down a green shortcut box right here behind those two airbrick stairs like so. In the space in between those shulker boxes, we're going to place down a row of four of green terracotta across, filling that space in. And then we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood stairs. We want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood upside down corner stair. Or stair like that in both sides. And then we're going to place down two stairs across the middle. So these two on the sides are going to be corner stairs. And coming off those corner stairs, they're going to place down item frames with tripwire hooks rotated so that tripwire hooks are facing downwards like so. We then want to also place down a dark oak wood trap door coming off this narrow brick stair on the front here. Like that. To uh, go ahead and complete that front there. To the sides here, we're going to place down an item frame on this shulker box with a cobweb in the item frame. If you are on Java Edition, we can go ahead and place a dark oak button on the side of this shulker box as well. Um, if you are on Bedrock Edition, you will not be able to do this feature. And if that's the case, just go ahead and place down the item frame. Same thing goes for this uh, item frame and sign technique right here. Uh, just If you're on Bedrock, just place down the item frame as you will not be able to place the item frame in sign or item frame and button in the same block space. And we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing over here, like so. After that, uh, we then want to go and take our nether brick top slabs, and we're going to go and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Nether brick top slabs back, same thing over here. So 11 back. We then want to go to the sides here, and the slabs above the trap doors here, we're going to go and place down an item frame with a green terracotta block in the item frame. Same thing right here. So we should have two like that on the side there. And we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves dark oak with signs. And again, if you're on Java, we can place a dark oak with sign on the side of the slab as well uh, for those little guide wheels on the track. And same thing over here. Just like this. And once we have that done here, we're going to then go to the back and place down a narrow row of three of, or narrow row of four green terracotta across and then a green shulker box 
on its side to both sides item frame and we then want to go and place down a cobweb in the item frame same thing on both sides here and then we're going to place down a dark oak button uh, if we're on Java so just like the front there we can then go ahead and fill in the space here in this in the inside between the Arabic top slabs so we can just go and fill this in solid with green terracotta um, and we can just have a nice filled in uh, base here for the tank so just like that and then on the back here uh, we're gonna go ahead and then take our um, green terracotta and we're gonna place a green terracotta block here to the sides two mossy cobblestone walls across the center here and then a narrow brick stair on top of these narrow brick top slabs to both sides after that we're gonna go ahead and then take our dark oak with top slabs and place a row of six that goes all the way across the back here item frame on the two corner slabs there and then a red concrete block in the item frame just like this for the brake lights and then a dark oak with sign on the side of the slab as well if we're on java and with that all done that right there is going to complete what we have there for layer two for the build and with that let's go ahead and move into layer number three all right guys so going ahead and moving into our next layer we have layer number three for layer three to go ahead and get started with here we're going to place down a green terracotta block here yellow concrete block and then two green terracotta blocks over from that uh, we then want to place down a dark oak button here on the side of this block item frame on those two green terracotta blocks and a snowball in those item frames like so we then want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides here item frames on those walls and then an orange uh, concrete block uh, in those item frames like that with a dark oak sign on uh, the side there of those walls like so after that's all done we then want to go ahead and take our mossy cobblestone walls we're going to place down actually sorry my bad it's going to be a uh, granite wall on both sides here and then a narrow mossy cobblestone wall that goes back from that granite wall we then want to go ahead and grab our little shulker boxes on the right side here we're going to place down two shulker boxes and over here on the left side we're going to place down a total of four like that and then over here we're going to place down two green terracotta blocks as well followed by two ladders like that and we then want to go ahead and place down one two three four green terracotta blocks between those blocks like so and we're going to go ahead and then just fill in the inside here with green terracotta to you know close the inside off there for the vehicle now once we get to this point here uh, on the right side here we're going to place down a trip bar hook on this shulker box and then a dark oak button on the second one and over on the other side here we're going to place down a trip bar hook dark oak button trip bar hook and dark oak button like that all on the side there and with that done we're going to then place down a row of six of dark oak slabs across and then a row of six of daylight detectors and a row of six of dark oak trap doors after that we're going to place down another row of four of green terracotta blocks across the center here green shulker box to both sides and then a trip bar hook coming off those shulker boxes like that on the sides here we're going to place down one two three mossy cobblestone walls back one two three and on the inside here the two middle spaces here we're going to place down two green terracotta blocks positioned like so with end rods coming off of each side here of those blocks like that and then in the corners here we're just going to place down a zombie head at about a 45 degree angle in the corners all the way around after that uh, we want to take a green terracotta place down a row of four across here again green shulker box to both ends item frame and then a green terracotta block in the item frame same thing over here like that and then a dark oak sign on the side here of the shulker box like that and then going forward here from it we're going to place down a sign here sign on the side of that mossy cobblestone wall same thing over here like that now once we get to this point here uh, on the back here we're just going to place down a zombie head on both ends and then a row of four of dark oak trap doors across between those zombie heads just like that and after that's all complete there that's going to wrap up what we have there for layer number three for the build and with that we'll go ahead and move into our next layer layer number four all right guys going ahead and moving into our next layer we moved into layer number four for layer four to go ahead and get started with here we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak slab on top of this green terracotta block with a dark oak sign coming off the side of the slab we then want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall to the side of the slab and then one two three and four walls over just like that once we have that done there uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a lever coming off these blocks here and we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a debug stick so uh, we'll go ahead and use our commands here and give ourselves a debug stick here and we'll be using our debug stick here to go ahead and take these levers and we're going to select the facing here and we're going to change them so that they're 
kind of coming off the mossy cobblestone walls. And you're going to do the same thing here for both sides to go ahead and create those little levers that stick out like so. Now once we get to this point here on the sides, we're going to place down a stripped spruce wood block to both sides, followed by a second block back from those. And it does actually seem that our levers did actually get uh, disrupted. So just go ahead and replace our levers here and do the same technique on both sides. Um, so just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and then take a black stained glass pane, place it right here, or stained glass block, and then three green terracotta blocks over. And we're going to then also place down a row four green terracotta, just fill in that space in there. Now once we get to this point, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair, which will be on both sides. And after that, we want to go ahead and then place down a green shulker box on the right side. And over here to the left side, we're going to place down three. Like that, across. Once we get to this point, we're going to take a green terracotta, fill in a space of three, or sorry, space of four green terracotta across, and then we're going to go ahead and place down an additional space of four going across. Over here on the right side, we're going to place down two green terracotta blocks here, two uh, ladders coming off the side of those blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and place down two green terracotta blocks here, two here. And then we're just going to fill in the inside space here with uh, looms like that to close that area off. And we're just going to then take our green banners and place down two green banners on those two short girl boxes. Or, sorry, on those two looms, as well as replacing this ladder here with a zombie head on the right side and the right side only. Anyways, once we get to this point here, uh, that's pretty much all we have there for uh, layer number uh, four. And with that, we'll uh, go ahead and move into probably our final layers here for the... Uh, you know, base vehicle. Um, so with that, let's go move into our last final layers. All right, guys, so moving into our final layers here, we have layers six through 10, or sorry, actually five through 10, my bad. So for layers five through 10, to go ahead and get started, one thing I want to add from the previous layer is we do want to trip our hook right here on the side of this shulker box, or on this um, strip spruce wood block like that. So it's gonna be like that on both sides there. Anyways, once we get to this point here, we're gonna place our mossy cobblestone wall on top of those two blocks like so. And we then want to grab our black stained glass. We're going to place down two blocks here, one block here, and then a green terracotta block there in the center. Now once we get to this point, we want to go ahead and take iron bars. We're going to place down an iron bar on each one of these black stained glass blocks. However, we then want to go ahead and take our debug stick and we want to go ahead and change it so that the direction of these iron bars is kind of facing to the outsides there. So it kind of extends them a little bit. And same thing for this one. So we're just going to go ahead and extend it to both sides like that to kind of create more of the um, kind of guarded or kind of armored windows that it does have on the vehicle. Anyways, once we get to this point here, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down a row of four, going across, and then a dark oak with up down stair here to both sides. From that, we're going to place down a narrow row of four green terracotta across with a mossy cobblestone wall on both ends, and then another one back from it, as well as a narrow row of three green ter or narrow row of four green terracotta across. After we get to this point here, we're going to take our zombie heads, we're going to place down uh, one and two zombie heads in this section, as well as a dark oak wood button here, and then two along the side there. This section here, we're going to place down an item frame and a green terracotta block in the item frame, uh, just like that on top of that choker box. And we just go ahead and move into the top now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down two item frames on top of those two blocks there, and we're going to go ahead and place down a green stained glass pane in those two item frames. This is something you'll only be able to do in Java because we will be placing down a uh, zombie head and a end rod on top of them. If you are on uh, bedrock, you will not be able to do this. Um, however, once we get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down a spruce wood trap door back from that one item frame there. And we're going to then place down a redstone repeater directly after it with the notches spread apart like so. After that, in the corners here, we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head to both sides. End rod coming off the zombie heads and then a and or a zombie head coming off the end rod, and then an end rod between those zombie heads there for the front. And then after that, we want to go and then just place down a green carpet right here. We're going to go and then place down a dark oak button on top of this green terracotta block, and then one, two, three. Actually, sorry, one, two, forward. And then we want to go and go one, two to the side. And then we want to place down a green carpet on top of this upside down stair. We're going to go and follow this up and place down a red snare pier here on top of the black stained glass block with a not just spread apart green carpet here, and then one and two green carpets on those two green terracotta blocks. From this here, doing our radio antennas, we want to go and then place down one, two, three, four, and five iron bars going up from these mossy cobblestone walls. 
So just like that for our radio antennas there for the vehicle. And with auto complete there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for the base vehicle. Uh, layers uh, basically 1 through 10. And from this point here, we're going to move into our two different versions of the vehicle. So putting the um, launching system onto the back of the vehicle. We're going to be starting off with our mobile version. And then from there, we'll be going ahead and moving on to the deployed version. So feel free to take a look at the timestamps in the video description to skip ahead to wherever... Um, whichever version you want to build and also you can take a look at the timing code bar which also is divided up into the sections and you can use that to skip ahead to wherever you need to go as well but anyways like i said we're gonna start with the mobile version to begin with and then move into the deployed version after all right guys so going ahead and moving into building uh the mobile version for the vehicle so to go ahead and get started here we're gonna be going ahead and using our base here and basically building off of this to start with we're gonna be going ahead and placing down a row four of stripped dark oak wood blocks here um, on top of or the logs I should say along the four green terracotta blocks here we're going to then take our stone buns and place down a row four across them to the sides here we're going to place down a green terracotta block and we then want to go and go one two three four five and six blocks forward and same thing over here one two three four five and six blocks forward from this point here we're going to then place down another row of four of sideways dark oak wood stripped logs and we do want to go ahead and delete these two green banners here. And we're going to be placing our stone buns here on those uh, blocks like that going across there. Now once we get to this point here, we can go ahead and then take our green terracotta and just fill the inside here in with green terracotta, making this completely solid like so. Next row going up, we're going to place down another set of four of stripped spruce wood logs on their sides like this on top here. Green terracotta blocked to both sides and a row of stone buns going across here. We then want to place down an additional green terracotta block on both sides like so. This one here with a dark oak button on the side. And then going forward from that block, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, forward, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Middle space here, we're going to go and do the same thing uh, as we did for the previous layer. So just a row of 4. And stone buttons going across there like so. However, at this point, we're going to go then place down a dark oak top slab to both sides here. Followed by a zombie head coming off those top slabs. We then want to delete this dark oak wood button here and this one also and we're going to then place down a row of four of uh, dark oak wood fence gates going across that section and these two stone buttons here we're actually going to delete as well and place down two dark oak wood fence gates in their place just like that in the center there. With that all complete though, um, for us to go ahead and continue on we're going to go, and go to the top here. We're going to grab our, uh, or actually we want to go and go to the top here and take our green terracotta and first fill this space in. So just like that. We're going to go then take our dark oak wood buttons down those two center blocks, or center lines here. We're going to go and place down dark oak wood buttons going all the way down. So just like that. And we're going to go then place down a 2x2 two two square of green carpet, starting on the back here in the corners. Then a 2x2 two two square of dark oak wood trap doors. And then a 2x3 uh, kind of rectangle here of green carpet. And we're going to also place down a green carpet on top of those two dark oak wood top slabs, just like that there in the front. And after we have that all done there, that is going to basically wrap it up here for the mobile version for the launcher. Pretty simple, straightforward design here. And um, with that, uh, we'll go ahead and move into the deployed version of the launcher. Okay, right, so we're going ahead and moving into the deployed version for the launcher. This here, uh, a little bit more of a complicated design, but really isn't anything too difficult to do. Um, we're going to be going ahead and starting off by going ahead and going to this section here. Now, to start this, we're going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a block here on top of those two zombie heads. And we want to go and then place down a row of four of the stripped dark oak wood logs across. We're going to go and then take our dark oak wood buttons and we're going to be placing down a row of four of dark oak wood, or sorry, stone buttons going across those dark oak wood logs like that. After that, we're going to place down a row of six of green terracotta going all the way across, like so. And we're going to go and then place down a row of six of dark oak wood top slabs going across. At this point here, we're going to place down a end rod coming off these top slabs on the sides there. And then we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab on top of this wall here to both sides coming off this, the end rod. We then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence post here on top of these two shulker boxes with the end rod going up from them like so. Once we get to this point here, we're going to drop back here to the back and we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of the two corners here. A row of four of dark oak wood uh, blocks across or dark oak wood logs and four stone buttons across those as well. We then want to place down a narrow row of six of green terracotta going across here. And we're going to place down a dark oak button on both ends of that row of six. After that's done, we want to go ahead and place down a row of uh, six of green terracotta across. And then a 
uh, Nether Rose 6 directly after that. We then want to place down a row of 6 of Dark Oak and Top Slabs, like that going across there. After that, uh, go into the top here, we're going to place down a green carpet on the two corners here. Actually, sorry, the two green carpets in the corners there. And then we're going to place down two Dark Oak buttons there in the center. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of, of 6 of Dark Oak Slabs across, then a row of 6 of green terracotta. And on the tops here of the two blocks in the middle, two dark oak wood buttons. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of six of green terracotta, followed by a third row, and then a fourth row going across. And then we're going to just place down a row of six of dark oak wood top slabs across. Next row going up, we're going to place down a row of six of dark oak wood slabs here, a row of six of green terracotta blocks. Again, dark oak wood buttons on top of the two center ones. Then a row of six of green terracotta going forward, followed by a third row. This uh, last row here, we're going to place down four stripped uh, dark oak wood logs like this. Green terracotta block in both corners there. And we want to go and then place down a stone button coming off those um, logs just like that. After that, uh, we're going to go and then place down a row of six of dark oak wood slabs across this section here. We're going to fold it up and place down a row of six of green terracotta blocks. Green terracotta block in both corners here. Uh, strip dark oak wood logs across, stone buns across those, and then we want to place down a row of six of dark oak wood slabs across the top there. After that, uh, we want to go and then place down a dark oak wood top slab to both sides, coming off those slabs like so. And then we're going to then go up with a dark oak wood slab, like that. And we then want to place down a row of four of dark oak wood fence gates going across between those dark oak wood slabs. So just like this, going across. And we then want to place down two dark oak wood fence gates coming off these two middle dark oak wood slabs, just like that. And once we have that all complete there, that is going to basically complete it for the um, kind of deployed version of the launcher. And uh, with that, that will complete my two designs here for both the mobile and um, deployed version for the M270 multiple launch rocket system mounted on the M993 um carrier vehicle. Anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. This will be thinking from the side of the build, link to my channel or this video if this does bring social media sites. As always, guys, give me proper credit for the build. You're free to for projects you guys are working on over on Enjoy the Build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. With that, however, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This will be Gary 204, and I'll see you guys next time.